Local anesthetics are medications used to block pain sensation in a specific part of the body in order to perform small surgical procedures. There are two classes of local anesthetics, esters and amides. Both of these types block the sodium channels in the peripheral nerves and inhibit the conduction of action potentials across nerve fibers. Thus, they inhibit the perception of pain by the brain. Pain is sensed by receptors called free nerve endings, which are the first-order neurons in the pain pathway. These neurons can be stimulated in several ways. By mechanical stimulation, thermal stimulation, such as heat and cold, and chemical stimulation by molecules, like bradykinin and histamine. These stimuli trigger the opening of transient receptor potential channels on the membrane of free nerve endings. This allows sodium and other cations to flow into the cell, causing depolarization. This will result in opening of the nearby voltage-gated sodium channels, setting off the positive membrane potential that continues down the entire length of the axon. Voltage-gated sodium channels have activation and inactivation gates in their intracellular side. At resting membrane potential, the activation gate is closed and the channel is not permeable to sodium ions. When the membrane depolarizes, activation gate opens, permitting sodium ions to flow in. Next, the inactivation gate closes, preventing sodium from entering to the cell, even though the channel is still open. This ends the depolarization process. Finally, when the cell repolarizes, the inactivation gate opens, the activation gate closes, and the channel enters its closed state again. Local anesthesia can be given in a few different ways. Topical anesthesia, where the anesthetic drug is applied directly on the skin or mucosal surfaces. Infiltration, where the anesthetic drug is injected into a tissue. And nerve block, where the anesthetic is injected near a major nerve to anesthetize the area supplied by that nerve. They can also be injected into the epidural or subarachnoid space in the spinal cord to anesthetize larger areas. Once administered, these medications are rapidly absorbed into the bloodstream. This will reduce the efficacy of the drug and increase the risk of systemic side effects. So, to correct this, local anesthetics are usually administered with vasoconstrictors such as adrenaline. However, it is important to note that vasoconstrictors should not be used in tissues with an end arterial supply, as it can cause ischemia and necrosis of distal tissue. Local anesthetics bind to the voltage-gated sodium channels intracellularly in their inactivated state. By binding, they prolong the inactivation state of the channel, which prevents propagation of the action potentials. Local anesthetics have a greater effect on small and myelinated nerve fibers. At larger doses, they can block temperature, touch, and pressure sensation as well. Examples for ester anesthetics include cocaine, benzocaine, procaine, and tetracaine. Cocaine and benzocaine are surface anesthetics, which are only used topically due to their serious adverse effects. Cocaine is the only local anesthetic that blocks the reuptake of catecholamines, leading to vasoconstriction, tachycardia, and arrhythmias. It also blocks the reuptake of dopamine, which leads to its associated euphoric feeling. Benzocaine can cause methemoglobinemia. Procaine has a short duration of action and it has serious central nervous system and cardiac side effects. Tetracaine has a longer duration of action, and it is commonly used in spinal and corneal anesthesia. Examples for amide anesthetics include lidocaine, mepivacaine, bupivacaine, and others. Lidocaine is the most frequently used local anesthetic, and it can be used in any situation, from topical to spinal. It has an intermediate duration of action. Mepivacaine also has an intermediate duration of action, but it is contraindicated during pregnancy. Bupivacaine has a longer duration of action, and it is commonly used in spinal anesthesia during labor. It can cause severe myocardial depression if administered into the bloodstream directly. Finally, both types of medications share similar side effects. In the systemic circulation, initially they can cause restlessness, seizures, and anxiety. At larger doses, they can cause central nervous system depression, respiratory depression, and severe myocardial depression. Except cocaine, local anesthetics usually cause vasodilation, which leads to hypotension and further aggravation of myocardial depression.